So very ambitious several projects today. Also, I want to bake a cake today. I'll be the guinea pig and I'll let y'all know if it's worth it or not. Probably is gonna fail, but it's worth a try. Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to the channel for a 4th of July vlog. I feel like I'm giving very patriotic vibes with I've tried to incorporate red, white, and blue. Oh, I don't know if you can hear that. That's for us. That's for us. Because I have several projects I want to attempt today. One of them, <laughs> one of them is trying to make a bench seat for us. Oh my gosh. Now's not the time for me to try to talk to you. Anyways, you know the upstairs little like coffee shop situation. I keep calling it a coffee shop. It's just a bench. That's all it is. But we're having tables made and I need to raise the bench two inches. So I want to try to DIY that today. Um, Joann's is open on 4th of July. So go get like foam and fabric and I've ordered a staple gun and we've had scrap plywood that my brother-in-law is cutting to the right shape right now. So that's a project I want to at least start and attempt with y'all knowing it might go very poorly. And if that happens, then I will get one officially made. But I figured let's try to DIY it first because that'd be a lot cheaper and fun to do. And then also I want to bake a cake today. I'm trying to try to make a tres leches. I was talking to a friend yesterday of like what our last meal would be, like our favorite, favorite, favorite things. And I said it would be the brown butter steam bun lobster roll from Eventide in Maine, sugarfish sushi and tres leches. And then I was like, I just wish there was more gluten-free tres leches. And she was like, you can make it. And I was like, duh. Gluten-free things are normally very dry. So the fact that this would be literally soaking in cream, I feel like it might be one of the better gluten-free desserts to attempt. So very ambitious several projects today. I'm feeling pretty confident that we can, that we can do them both. You good? Yep. I heard a woo. But something else fun that I want to do with y'all is a little haul of some fun little summer things that I got um, from an incredible sale that's happening. I'll tell you more about it, but I'm gonna go get those so that we can open them all up together because I'm really excited about. Some of them will be perfect for today, actually, because I got, <gasps> you'll see. Okay. So all the things that I got are actually from FabFitFun, which I know you've seen me open their subscription boxes before. I don't know if y'all remember my subscription box era where that was like my thing, but I recently unboxed the summer box from them and I'm getting to work with them on today's video as well because this week they are doing their huge sale for members. And I actually have a couple, they gave me a couple promo codes for y'all and they're both very generous but if you haven't heard of them they're basically a quarterly lifestyle subscription box where you get six full-size products in every box and they're different from the other boxes in my opinion and and honestly something i love about them is you get to go pick the products so you don't have any duds like everything in your box is something that you want anyways when you're a member you can either buy quarterly boxes or you can sign up for the annual membership when you become a member you get access to different sales that they have and right now is one of the biggest sales ever it's from 7 11 through 7 17 and it's called the fab fit fun week you get up to 75 percent off incredible brands like i found things from super goop from free people from crate and barrel like amazing brands and it is open to members only is the thing so i'm going to tell you my couple codes real quick because one of them is really great benefit if you're wanting to sign up for the membership so if you're wanting to sign up for an annual membership and then have access to the sale as well as other different flash sales that they do from time to time the code is mckell 300 and they're going to send you a free gift valued at up to $300. I am dying to know what that is. So if anybody does it, please comment down below and let me know what you get. But if you're only wanting to sign up for a seasonal box, they also gave me a code for that as well. It's Mikkel25 and that would get you 25% off your first box. When you use a code, your first box is $52.50, but the value is up to $350 of products on the inside. So all that to say, you wanna see my picks from the sale? Supergoop is my favorite sunscreen brand. This is the Sunny Screen. It's SPF 50. It's technically for kids, but I like to use it because it works so well. The retail price is $30, but through the sale, it was $19.99. This one might be the thing I'm most excited about because this is a blanket from Free People. It literally still has the Free People tag. You can see it's normally $78. You can share it. I'll share it with you but it was $16. This might be my new favorite and it might be also the softest of them all. So, a swimsuit. I don't know how to say this brand, Monts, 
All I know is it's a very nice brand because the retail prices are normally $168. I got it for $69.99, but I thought how chic is this ribbed one piece. I don't really have many one pieces and I like that you can just like throw on pants with it and wear it out, go to lunch, whatever, between everything and you don't feel like you're in a swimsuit as much. The quality of this feels incredible. I'm gonna pack this tonight. I don't know if I'll be getting in the water today, but I'm gonna pack it just in case I wanna do a little, they have a hot tub at the friend's house we're going to also. This straw hat, the brand is Kinsey. It retails at $52, guess the price, $7.99. I got some fun glasses. I own one pair of sunglasses and they're like very practical, but I thought these were really fun. The brand is Quay, they retail at 65. I got them for 44, what do we think? Do we think I can pull off some fun sunglasses? Some fun glasses. <laughs> this is a dual sided concealer brush from Iconic London. I just couldn't pass up on the deal because it retails at $25 and I got it for eight. I feel like that is gonna be so good for concealing little spots. I've heard great things about Bobble Bar. I've never tried them before, but I've been wanting more statement earrings. You can see on the back, $42 and they were 29. Okay, how cute is this little bow? It has a hook and it hooks into the elastic of, I, I have my blue tied around right now, but it hooks into the elastic of your hairband. Normally it's $9.99, I got it for $5.99. This is the wild card that I, I have seen this. I don't know if you're on like wellness talk, but an acupressure mat, you lay on it and it has like, it's supposed to rejuvenate the body because it has, a, it like helps increase circulation with all of the little nodes. $24 through the sale and then Hosting era, this is perfect for this weekend because we are hosting a 4th of July party on the 6th at our house for our whole neighborhood. This is from Crate and Barrel. Look how cute it is with the little wooden foot at the bottom. Retails at $40 and I got it for $24.99. Wow, what a haul. But honestly, like, I think every single one of these things I'm gonna probably use this weekend. Thank you to FabFitFun for sponsoring this video. I'll have the codes and like all the descriptors down below because when there's a couple, I know it's confusing, but we are set. Okay, I think we make the cake first because it has to cool and chill for like six hours. So we kind of need to get on that. I'm gonna be using a recipe from sistersandsgluten.com. I'll link it, but I'm gonna double it because I want to make it tiered. We'll see how it turns out. I'll be the guinea pig and I'll let y'all know if it's worth it or not. Okay, the cakes have been in for 25 minutes. I'm gonna pull them out. They actually smell pretty done. I haven't been watching them at all. Oh, wow. They look very done. I feel like they are, oh, I don't know. There's still a little jiggle. I was gonna pull them out to do a fork test, but I feel like it's a little risky. Oh yeah. That's weird. One side is way more done than the other side, but they're, they're done. You're done. Something I didn't quite consider about trying to do this cake tiered when that's not what the instruction said is you're supposed to like stab holes in it, pour the milk over top, let it chill in the fridge. So I'm wondering if I let it chill, take it out, cut the top to make it flat, then poke the holes, then pour it, then let it chill again, and then later try to make it tiered. But I, I can't decide if that will be impossible to like move. You know what I mean? <laughs> Jordan just walked by in the most ridiculous 4th of July fit. I love it. Let's go see. Let's go see what he, he got a new bucket hat that he is in love with. Don't mess with Texas, huh? No, oh, it's, it's pretty easy to mess with Texas. <laughs> I hope I got enough heavy whipping cream because I wanted to make my own whipped cream 
topping, but I need four cups for the, oh my gosh, I can't open anything. The boys are leaving to beach all day and I am probably not gonna go till like five or 6 p.m. Do I really need four cups? Yeah, I don't think this bowl is big enough. Oh. What I gotta figure out is leveling the cakes, which I've never done before. I am not a baker. I am not a baker. I like to just kind of wing it and you can't do that with baking. But I need to level these so that, oh, that popped out so easy. So that I could stack them into tiers, you know what I mean? So I gotta like kind of just cut off the dome. I feel like that's so much waste. The middle is actually still a little squishy. Wait, I stuck a fork way in there though. Maybe as it cools. Okay, that looks level enough. I don't know. Saving my cake scraps for me, for me to eat these later. <laughs> no waste here. I feel like we don't need too many holes because it's already so holy. Oh yeah. Okay, <laughs> the recipe was like, it's gonna look like too much liquid, only save like a quarter of the amount to plate. But I saved this much and it was like drowning, but I put them in the fridge to see how much they sop up. But I also wanna make sure that they won't be too moist where I can't remove them from their um, pan. <sighs> Why can't I think of the name of that? and replate them later. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see if we need to add that or not. But while it's chilling, let's start on the next project that I wanna to do today. The next thing I'd like to do is try to make a DIY bench for this. In case you missed it in previous vlogs, we are having my brother-in-law's best friend build tables. And he said that the current height of this bench is two inches away from being counter height. So in order to get like normal chairs to go on the other side, we should add two inches and make a counter height, which I was hoping to add a cushion anyways. But I feel like I should hire a professional to make a cushion. It's just gonna be really expensive. And we had this scrap plywood and he cut it into the shape of this for me. And I'm hoping ooh, to go to Joann's. Okay, all right, to get cute fabric. And I got a little stapler. And I'm also thinking we can upcycle this disgusting mattress pad. <laughs> it was Jordy's um, and sometimes we use it for the pullout couch, but it ripped. And honestly, now that I've seen the color of the inside, like I don't think people should be sleeping on this, but I think it's fine to use for a bench that's gonna be like covered and wrapped in fabric. So I'm thinking I can maybe literally use scissors and cut through this the exact same shape of this wood. And then go pick out some fabric, wrap it, staple it. Probably is gonna fail, but it's worth a try. You happy? I think so. Okay. Watch out though. Little by little. Inch. I cut my phone till we got a makeup bench. Okay. I just took like a 45 minute break to get a video reviewed and uploaded. And before we head out to the fabric store, I feel like we should check on the cakes to see if they need more liquid. They were drowning, but they sopped all that up. I could totally use some more liquid. Just a little more before we go. It's really good. Just pulled up to Joanne's, but guys, I was remembering something from break that I wanted to tell you about because I sobbed, I sobbed. Jordy wrote a song for Max and it's called Step Dog. <laughs> I can't handle it, but I asked him, can you please send me those lyrics so I can read them? I'll redo the chorus for now, 
But, uh, well, okay, I'll read you, like, the first little verse in the chorus. It says, I know that I'm new and that you only trust her, but back when she was the world's loneliest girl, you were by her side. There's a verse about, like, you've got your quirks, you've not got anything. But we're going to be best friends, you and me. We've got a lot of years to work it out. You were her man before I walked in, and you're the reason that she's standing strong now. I know we don't see eye to eye, but since you held her then, I can hold you now. But since you held her through the darker times, I can hold you now, I can hold you now. <laughs> that got me when he played that for me. Yes, Anyways, I want. <laughs> I want a cream and white striped fabric because the wall behind the bench is a dark brown. And then I think I'm going to have the tables painted like a light, very soft, oceany blue. So there's a lot of like color going on. And I feel like a stripe is a little bit coastal, a little bit nautical, but I would love it to be just a very neutral stripe. So please, Joanne, pull through. Let's see what we can find. It is very quiet in here, but... You want to know a fun fact about me? My first word as a baby was fabric. So, destined to be here, I guess. My mom loved to sew. She would take me to fabric stores all the time. And I would just touch and say, fabric, fabric. <laughs> I'm in the clearance section. I just found this. This is nice. I don't know if it's long enough, but I like how like thick and woven it is because it might kind of hide imperfections. I'm gonna hold on to it for now. The amount left on the clearance roll was almost exactly how much I needed. There's like five inches extra or something. So I took it as a sign. And that was $15 for all that fabric. So if this works, then the total cost of this whole project will be $15. Because everything else was found. <laughs> okay, I definitely have no idea what I'm doing, but I have this little staple gun and I've practiced shooting it into the plywood and it's tiny little nails instead of staples. And it does go into the plywood. The staples wouldn't, but the nails would. So what I think I'm gonna do is just figure out the best positioning for this fabric, flip it over and wrap it like a Christmas present, staple it shut. Okay. I feel like I should start with either end and then do the front. The issue is the front of this bench is curved instead of straight. So it's gonna be harder to make it look good. Let's see what happens. <laughs> obviously DIY. I have some fabric that I have to fix on the underside, but I just kind of want to see first before I spend more time. <gasps> okay. Wait a minute. I think it's going to work. And we got a bench seat. Aww. Is it weird that you can see this wood below it? Or is that fine? You know? But that is about exactly two inches when you sit on it. It does, you know, it's not a firm foam. It's a squishy foam. So we'll see when the table comes in, if that height feels right or not. But I'll clean up all of this underside. Got some trimming to do and some more staples to do. But my staple gun got a little jammed. So decided to take a pause here. You did it, guys. It's okay. It's like, it's definitely DIY. But if it saves a few hundred dollars. I think it's time we decorate our cake. This is where it could all go wrong because like, how am I gonna get this out of here onto this? It's literally dripping liquid. I don't exactly know. I have my first attempt in mind. I'm gonna put some whipped cream down just to help kind of like hold it in place. Although it's really wet, so it probably doesn't need this. Okay, I'm just gonna say a prayer. Do I whip this up as well? Blah! Oh my gosh. I'm gonna do a layer of whip between. This might be a really bad idea. Have you ever seen a layered tress like this? Am I crazy for trying this? I kind of do feel like this one should be right side up. Right? No, I don't know. Okay, that went better. That went better than last time. Okay. Is 
didn't turn out too bad. Wow, she's heavy. Look at that. It's pretty cute. That is my outfit. I really hope we can see um, fireworks from where we're gonna be, but I don't know. I've never spent a 4th of July out here. Last 4th of July, I was in Alabama and I got engaged which is crazy that that was a year ago and what a special time. I'm gonna go ahead and just end the vlog off on a montage, but thanks for spending a holiday with me, doing a few projects with me, hanging out, unboxing some things. It was a very fun filled day and the day's not even over. Actually, the day's still quite young. We still got a lot more to do, um, even though for you, I know it's probably just gotta be like 30 or 45 seconds, but I wanna say thanks again to FabFitFun for partnering with me on this video. I'm gonna have my code and my links and all the good stuff in the description down below, the one for annual, Mikel 300 or the one for seasonal Mikel 25. But if you're watching this video right when it comes out, then um, the sale is happening right now or very soon. I can't remember when this video comes out, but the 11th through the 17th and you can get stuff for up to 75% off. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, I love y'all. Thanks for spending the day with me. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon, but let's go see some fireworks hopefully. First. <laughs>